Today's gonna be a pretty cool day because for our anniversary, I booked for Kevin and I to go to this um, backyard beekeeping experience through Airbnb. I didn't know you could do that. So basically we'll get to see like two hours worth of uh, how to take care of bees. We'll get some local honey made from this dude. Wax and stuff like that. So just something different it's like for our anniversary, which was a couple days back. Congratulations, I, I understand it's your second uh, anniversary, yeah. right? <laughs> They told us to wear long sleeves, long pants, closed toe shoes. This will be interesting because Kevin doesn't like bugs. <laughs> but we like call each other bee, like bee. Uh, we like honey and I think he's generally interested in how they do their thing. And those, they should be subdued by the smoke so I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be okay. We'll see. Stan, this is your um, your beekeeping experience. You're the expert. Yeah, sort of. How old are you? Eight. So how many hives do you have? Um, we used to have three and a half, but mm. we're down to one. Down to one. What happened to the other two? Um, first of all, um, one got like absconded, like. Because there's like diseases and there was like this um, thing called like the varroa mite mm -hmm. and um, it makes the bees weak and then ants can get in and like something called hive beetles can like make them go away so yeah. It's a lot. You know a lot of stuff. I'm very yeah. impressed. <laughs> <It's really good. laughs> what else? Uh, what else should we know to be prepared for today? Well, I guess bees don't or don't like dark colors because they think it's like a bear or something. Uh oh. <laughs> so I'm wearing the wrong clothes. <laughs> the journey of honey begins with humble honeybees, whether buzzing in their hives or foraging for nectar in wide open fields. Honeybees are a critical component of today's agricultural market. In addition to producing delicious golden honey, they perform a vital function of pollination. Honeybees gather nectar and pollen from 50 to 100 blossoms per collecting trip. Two million flowers must be tapped to produce a single pound of honey. Honeybees visit millions of blossoms in their lifetime, collecting nectar to bring back to the hive, which is then naturally broken down into simple sugars and stored in honeycomb. The bees are now peeking their heads out from the frame, oh. going, Let's go down. Who that? Where was that smoke coming oh, yeah, from? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Look at them. Within the hive are thousands of worker bees, drones, and a queen bee, all working together to create the perfect environment for producing all-natural honey. The unique hexagonal designs of the honeycomb, coupled with the constant fanning of the bee's wings, causes evaporation to take place, creating the thick, sweet liquid we know as honey. For the final step, the bees then seal the honeycomb cells with wax caps. Oh. Look, she gave she gave us these. Oh. We're very good. Mm. I'm gonna really try the lip balm. This is like six. That's really How did I get? Yeah. Oh, lovely lemon. Lemon grass. Okay. Wow. Mmm. Smells great. Thank you for sharing. Oh, you're very very welcome. Wonderful, Stuart. And Michelle. And Michelle. And Michelle. Michelle. Yes. Well, we're we're so happy that you. Uh, came and visited and had a nice time. I hope you look at me in a different way now. Well, that was really fun. Uh, yeah, you're Thanks welcome. Me. Yeah, something different, Bam. That was cool. Stuart yeah. and Michelle were uh, so smart, so articulate, yeah. um, very passionate, very educated about what they do. Just right here in their backyard here in Westminster. Yeah, yeah. very cool. I liked it a lot. Um, I like. I got a little nervous when one bee came to my mask just hearing the buzz because I always have a little um, fear about bees because I got stung by a wasp a long time ago but I still like bees because I understand their importance in the world but anyway so cool um, check it out if you're in the area I'll put all the links in the description and we got some really cool uh, souvenirs like real honey raw local honey so it hasn't been processed like crazy lip balm these are all Michelle's uh, things, <laughs> honey and lip balm. We're gonna continue on with the rest of our day though, but that was really nice to do in the morning. That was awesome. Yeah, it was really cool. Did she like it? Yeah. Yeah. That was cool. <laughs> I thought she was gonna freak out a little bit, but he didn't. I loved it. You guys should definitely 
check it out. Yeah. yeah, it's cool. To learn more about bees um, and understand their importance because they they pollinate about 30% of our food that we consume here in America. So it's very important that we have bees. Thanks for watching. See you next time.